Ladies and gentlemen, Coffee Nino presents to you the Let's Address It podcast. 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 <laughs> This channel was the request of his loyal subscribers since 2018 and now is a part of the various social media brands from Quaffee's most popular, the Narratives and Dialogues documentary channel. The focus here will be the live shows that addresses topics by and through panel discussions, special guests, experts, trusted speakers, and other content creators who are hand-picked for any of the special programmings. The audience will be able to call in and address their issues or state their opinions via phone line. There will be orderly and respectful discussions according to the topics as scheduled. Anyone choosing to be on this broadcast panels must be on camera unless it is a calm down day. This helps detect disingenuous people seeking to troll the channel, give misinformation while behind avatars, and commit acts on camera that are against the YouTube community guidelines. There will be reasonable questions answered to the audience concerning their grievances. This channel tackles accountability factors of black Americans due to the gender wars between black men and women, the laws of America that does not allow black people to govern their own communities, resolve their own problems and issues. In late December 2023, while on a mental break from social media, Kwafi saw a greater need to offer his support to let his audience be heard and to give the opportunity to those who would like to address issues whether personally with the host or the topics they deemed as controversial. Kwafi's boldness to speak out about the untruths many continue to echo chamber throughout social media platforms with no resolve or solution might be just what is needed. In no way, this is to dismiss, ignore, confuse, nor conflict the audience about any issues we all agree on, but to address what is often left out of discussions and important subject matters concerning, especially in all men groups. For many years on YouTube, black male leadership has been irresponsibly misinterpreted as a whole and has veered to negativity, blame and shame and anti-black woman. Black YouTube has caught the grift bud to align their pockets with massive cash using black people's pain and dysfunction. This has left supporters feeling betrayed and scammed, especially for men who may not be strong enough to maintain their psychological hardships after buying into the advice of non-licensed or confidentially certified in the field of law by a family court counsel, mental health counseling and psychiatry. It has become a downhill battle to have content creators tell stories of successful marriages and stories about the positive and thriving black families of America that exists in modern day. Content on YouTube has become a life of the sexually frustrated, a high rate of divorce, anti-woman, and shaming tactics for other men and women who are successful in their careers and marriages. This seems to help aid children out of wedlock with women they either had sex with unprotected or did not see fit for a wife or mother of their children that led to the many variation of individual and unique cases of child support. This all led black men and black women to a system within a system that has played them against each other by and through the American government, individual organizations, reckless alternative lifestyles, and feminism that has repeatedly bought into the cycle of all that is anti-blackness and dysfunction. There's a great divide of black families, their communities, 
and has weakened up in coming generations of our black youth, especially black boys and black young adult men. By this, Kwafi seeks to heal what's broken. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy. I want to talk about a subject today that was near and dear to my heart, you know, and that was something dealing with inner peace and character, you know, while I was on vacation. It stayed on my mind the whole time, you know, or at least what I call a mini vacation. I try to give you the most genuine part of who I am. You know, I'm not anyone that's uh, giving you lies about who I am, you know. I really live this shit. I live, I live, I really live life. I always say if you never go, you'll never grow. And too often you find a lot of fellas in the space that says, oh, we need to be able to identify with people who are different from us. Okay, I get that, you know. But are you really living that? You know, I've titled this video as taking a mental break because at least for me, having a mental break from social media is so important, you know, because it separates your real life away from what people think it is versus you being in a headspace to where you really start to believe you're, you're everything that the internet says you are and that you're everything that uh, you have really become, you know, as in this character on the internet, you know. <laughs> Oh, my God.